She means you, cue ball. I've never heard of a hero like you. Any case, you're causing problems around here for everyone. If you're really a hero, then don't go around frightening people. You're hurting all the other heroes' reputations. You mind not looking at my stuff? Well, you don't say. I... I guess so. Huh? Oh, you finally noticed? Yeah, I know. So why'd you come here? Figures. I knew something or other like this would happen eventually. I refuse. You need me to spell it out for you? Freaking amateurs. All right. Pay attention. I'm sorry, what was that? Did you call me lame? Your call time is coming up. Temper tantrums aren't going to help any. Go and get changed. The truth of it is, Arima didn't forget about us. He never knew us. Two years have passed, but he's the same. I don't like him. Getting special treatment just because his mom studied with someone famous. All the talent in the world and he refuses to play anything with heart! You know, she's right. I wish someone would send me a love letter sometime. It'd be nice to get one. Um, so anyway, how do you know your way there? I mean, you're new here and all, and... Of course I do. I mean, I... I, I do. My family, and my friends. I love them very much, and yes, they're very precious to me. It doesn't make any sense, does it? I guess the sensible answer would be yes. Oh, that's the thing, I can't really remember what happened in it. All I know is that it was really strange and spooky. Hello? Who are you? By the way, Sin, surely you weren't robbed of all your belongings by those hideous thieves, were you? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Not just your clothes, but every piece of your equipment, too? Aww. What's the matter with you? Did you forget what that was? <sighs> oh, really? When are you going to finally awaken to your responsibilities as our king? Master of our nation, Sindria, King Sinbad? So, what's the plan? Making such a rash promise when we don't even have our equipment. Wait, Sin. We should really discuss this first. Are you actually going to involve these children? And whose fault is that? Roll in. I'm glad you both decided to come out here tonight. Sounds good to me. Not quite. But I have my own reasons for capturing every one of you tonight, here and now. Oh, I was just in the neighborhood. So, how was your body feeling? My arrow should have severed all of Castor's magic threads. Good for you. As much as I'd like to say, do whatever the hell you want, I suggest you stay where you are for now. Try not to move without thinking first. She will take the full force of her anger out on you. A woman's fury is a difficult thing to control. Ah, oh, damn. I think that things are about to get rather violent. What? Caster, how could you? You broke the rules. She ignored the rules and summoned an assassin-class servant on her own. She made this her home and harvests souls from the people in the city. She herself doesn't fight, but monitors the battle using eyes placed around town. 